and five, four, three, two, one. That's the marathon team, man. I gotta live. Hey, 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 hey. Better days. Man, we gonna see better days. Better days. Man, we gonna see better days. Better days. My very young friend. Young friend. Period. Let me get this out of the way because. So you're gonna move all over here when I just told you I'm finna. Alright, then. Alright, then. You do some moves. Yeah. Go get y'all one of these. But y'all, I'm gonna take off my rings because we're finna cook. I'm finna cook some chicken. Y'all, quit is gone until tomorrow. So, I gotta do something. Y'all, before y'all cook, wash some fucking hands. Like, like, wash some hands, girl. Like, don't be nasty. Please don't be one of those. Seriously. So, y'all, I'm washing my hands. How would y'all be y'all missing? A lot of y'all feel like my videos have been blurring lately, and it really been getting to me. So, I don't got no napkins. So I'm gonna be, you know, doing what y'all supposed to be doing, you know. Get that right, y'all. I don't wanna lose my supporters, you know. So we're gonna turn the, the shit on to 400. Get that started. But yeah, I don't wanna lose my supporters. Like, I would cry if I lost y'all. So y'all, kind of chicken I got. So yeah, y'all yeah, wanna cook with me when I talk to y'all? Like, y'all. I'm really finna talk to y'all, like really talk to y'all, but like when I lost my brother, I was on grind mode because you know I just wanted to be happy, like less distractions and stuff like that. Like that was my main goal. Still my main goal to this day. Like to be focused or whatever like that. You know, go my page, I do my page. Like I did a lot. And it's two years since my brother been gone. Yeah, hold up. This shit still focus. Okay. I'm trying to let that know. But yeah, my brother had passed away two years ago. It still gets me though, but I can handle it. So a lot of y'all been like, Brian, how are you since you know your grandma passed away? Y'all, to be honest with y'all, I'm just living it. Like, like y'all don't understand, I'm still in shock until this day. Like, I'm still in shock. Like, literally still confused. You know, stuff like that. I'm definitely, like, confused. Like, don't understand it. Me, y'all, I still wait for her phone calls. All that stuff. Like, I'm trying to get mentally ready for it. Like, She's not gonna call you again, friend. Like, she's not gonna call you. And y'all, I would hate to delete my grandma number out my phone. I would hate to do that. Cause it's like, that's the one person I literally used to wait for to call me like, every day. I'm waiting for my grandma to call me. She'll call me, I'm calling her. Like, literally. This is like, literally my whole life was me and my grandma. Like, I'm the real definition of grandma's baby. Like, literally, grandma's baby. So, y'all already know, I'm finna turn this shit up a notch. Like, for real. Grandma, straight grind. If it ain't about money, why the hell is she talking to me? That's how my mindset's gonna be. My birthday on Friday, 
And yeah, I know. It's gonna be a little emotional. Not a little emotional. Hella emotional because you don't got Big Z to tell you happy birthday. Like, who wouldn't want that happy birthday for their grandma? Like, let's like let's be for real. Who wouldn't want that happy birthday for their grandma? Like, let's be for real. First, not getting a happy birthday from your brother, your oldest brother, until not getting a happy birthday from your grandma. Y'all know my heart troops. Like, y'all see, I'm always at my grandma on my side, at least all the time. A lot of y'all want to know how my mama doing. Bro, we just all just in shock. Like literally everybody's in shock. Confused. Confused. Is this how life supposed to be is? Like this is how life really finna be? Or like you know, I never question like why. But hey, that one. Now that one confused me. I never understand that one. It's like we had time to prepare ourselves when we like this is what happened, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened because I think in life never tell y'all. Like on July, on July 13th, y'all know that's when my brother died. Long live Quan. Crying, oh, I love you. Look, Mrs. Hen right here. He's always on my side. You're really. But yeah, that's when my brother had passed away in July 13th. I was at King's Dominion. King's Dominion had just closed. So, me, my dad, my sisters, my cousins, my aunt, we all, you know, my little cousin, yeah, I said cousin, and Clay. And Jay, and Kendall, my brother, yeah. So we all was at Kings and Men. We finna leave. So we was down, like, we was like 20 minutes, like literally 20 minutes, oh, like 20 minutes away from Kings and Men. Yeah, 20 minutes away from Kings and Men. I get a call from my mom. I'm like, hey, mom, what you doing? Whoop, whoop. She was like, Grandma, stop breathing. I need you to hurry up and get back to Portsmouth. Mind you, King's men, like an hour and a half. So I'm like, what you mean she stopped breathing? So she was like, she stopped breathing, like, she stopped breathing. Hurry up. So I'm calling my brother, Clayvon. Like, I'm just praying, like, when I say y'all, I'm just praying. I'm like, not today, like, I'm already overwhelmed. My auntie ain't wanna tell me what's going on because my brother, this is my brother reunion. It's like my brother being away anniversary, uh, celebration. I'm like, what? That's how I kept saying, what? Like, I'm so confused. Like, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm just crying. I'm like, Grandma, please don't leave me. Like, you cannot leave me today. Never. Like, you're still young. Like, you're not old. But you is old. But you're not old. Like, you cannot leave me, Grandma. Like, I'm praying that you don't take your last breath today. Like, like, no, my mom, like, this is not how it's supposed to go. Supposed to help me decorate my house and all this stuff. So, as that going on, I'm rushing. I'm calling my dad. I'm like, my mama just stopped breathing. She in the hospital right now. They got a call, a call. Oh, yeah, this call. You got one of those, so I need to hurry and make it there. Mad y'all, my grandma stays in Delaware, y'all. So another three hours, like 
So when that happens, I'm like confused. Like, what I gotta do? What I gotta do? Like, what did I deserve? I don't even know what I did to deserve this. Like, why my grandma? But y'all didn't know my grandma was on the Alice thing. She had to take it every four hours. And I know my grandma ain't wanna live like that no more. But I'm still like, why? Like, you was just good. We literally just on the phone. What happened that fast? Like, grandma, what happened that fast? But they had told us my grandma had COVID too. And pneumonia. So, I'm really in shock, like, and one thing about my grandma, y'all, she not gonna tell y'all what's something wrong with her. She not gonna tell nobody what's wrong with her. And that was get like that gets me so tight. Cause that's how my grandma is. And always been my grandma. She not gonna let you know she in pain. She wants you to live your life with no stress in life. That's what I think. Stuff like that. So I get home. We packing. Everybody frustrated. Everybody like yelling at each other. I'm like, damn. So I keep apologizing to Jay because this is Jay time. First time coming to Virginia. I'm like, already like your first time in Virginia. You gotta see this. Like, mind you, Quay. My grandma love Quay, like, love her, like, love him, like, when she called me, she ain't calling me just to call, talk to me, baby. She want to know where Quay going, what he doing, everything, like, Quay was one of my grandma hearts, like, I ain't never seen my grandma act like this to what's, like, when I, I what's her name, when our partners, like. Well, I never seen it. So when she got a text of Quay, I'm like, okay, Quay must be the one. You must be the mother with the one, boo. Hey, right, babe, you must be the one, because my grandma loves you. And then I know Quay had lost his grandma some years ago. I'm like, damn. Like, this is really too much. Like, it's really too much. So everybody was just crying. Crying could be stressed. I couldn't sleep, couldn't think. So I tell my friends and stuff what's going on. Like, your friends, like when something happened to you, your friends ain't the people that you need to go to. Like, I'm gonna let y'all know that now. Cause friends, you could lose a lot of friendships over shit like that. Like, over devs, celebrations, and stuff like that. You would lose a lot of friends from that. Like, I cut people off if they didn't come to my my brother's celebration stuff. Because everybody know how my brother is to me. He means the world to me. Like, all my siblings mean the world to me. Like, if I ask you to do one thing, do it. Like. I'm not forcing you to do it, but do it. Like, if you're not on your deathbed, then you have no excuse that you was not there. Like, because I'm going to show up for you. So I want that same energy you showing up for me. You feel me? Like, and then I see your location, you somewhere else. I'm confused. Like, do you really love me as a friend? Or what? Like, what's really like tea? Like, what's really going on? You feel me? So I just let people go because if if you don't support me how I support you, then I can't be around you. Like I love all my friends like family. So if something happened to y'all, I'm there. Like you don't gotta see. Like you don't have to think it's friend coming. It's friend coming. You should never have that problem with me. Unless I'm sick or something, or I just can't make it. Because I ain't got the bread for it. Like, but you're never going to have a problem with Francis. Like, like, never. Like, 
on everything I love. On everything I love, you would never have a problem with this because that's how my family raised me. Like, if you call somebody your friend, ride for me. So, that's how I was built. And that's how you don't see me with a lot of people. You feel me? So, if you don't see me with somebody, you just don't see me. These stink. They don't stink, but they stink. August 30th. Uh, but tomorrow the last day for them boys. But yeah. But it's like no beef, like it's no beef with nobody. I just don't want to be in your presence no more. Stuff like that. But the season that I use y'all is Onion powder, smack your mama, garlic powder, paprika, and black peppers. Pepper. Period. And I'm making miso food. And I'm making clay food. Just clay do something back tomorrow. And I'm gonna have something to eat. But I gotta have a little bit of eat. Yeah, I did. But it's like some people don't like frenerals and stuff like that, so I won't really be too tripping. Hold on, I'm skipping the story, y'all. My bad. I'm my head all over the place. So, so my grandma was in the hospital on July. Yeah, my grandma was in the hospital on July, on July 30th. I mean, not 30th, I mean, July 13th. So, so the doctor had called us like two days later. My encounter was the only person to go up there because my grandma did have COVID. I did say, tell y'all that, that she had COVID, so she only could have one visitor up there. So, they had my grandma on her. <sighs> they did have my grandma on a breathing machine, so that's the only reason why she was here with us. She was on the breathing machine. So. She was on the breathing machine. So that's how she was still here with us. And then on the 15th, they told us like, no. Her brain is swollen. Something about her brain being swollen or something like that. She can't really like, if she do wake up, if she did wake up, she probably wouldn't know who he was. And one thing about it, my grandma ain't going to live like that. So everybody was asking us, I was on my head, smell. They was asking us like, what y'all want to do, but Nobody would want their freaking grandma to be alive and they don't know who they is. And y'all grew up knowing like who they is and stuff. So they had came home one day, my child came home. She was crying. I'm like, what's wrong? I'm like, grandma good? She woke up or something? Like, what happened? So, they was like, they were telling us about her brain and stuff. And we gotta let her go. So, my heart just broke. Like, when I say it broke in pieces, like just knowing that's what's about to go down. Like, that's what's about to go down. It broke me in pieces, y'all. When I say it broke me in freaking pieces, y'all. Because I'm like, what? Like, I just keep asking, what? Like, for real? Like, so. So, July. Ooh, so, July. July 18th is the day 
my Kiata put plug on my grandma. And she died that fast. So my mama came down the hallway. <sighs> my grandma, my mama came out. It's crazy. Sorry to get off track, y'all. It's crazy. The day before the 18th, I had a dream about my grandma. We was having so much fun. Like, we was having so much fun. Like, I just thought my grandma was here with us. So. Mm. Next day, we already know. Aunt Kata got to take her off the machine. So, everybody like, she going to wake up. She going to wake up. So we breathing like it's our only thing we keep saying, Grandma, just wake up, breathe, like open your eyes. Like you can pull this through, like this ain't your first time being in a hospital. But this time, my grandma, my grandma went to the hospital and never made it back home. So she had passed away. July 18, 2023. So, I was fucked up. I was fucked up in the head. Didn't want to do nothing. Then I started thinking like, friend, and you know damn well, grandma do not want you to be just sitting around here crying. It's like, you still got to move on. You still got to live, dude. Like, you still got to go on with life, baby. She taught you everything. You ain't going to be confused about nothing in life. If you want to talk to her, she'll come see you when she knows that you're ready. Like, if you know me, you know I have anxiety, you know. Like, I get homesick. And the crazy thing is, I haven't been homesick since my girl passed away. Since I came back home, I have not been homesick. So, I pray that I keep having the strength that I got right now. I pray for strength. I pray for happiness. I pray that I never want to see depression. Like, I just been praying lately, like a lot lately. You know. Hope hope everything be okay. And I'm still gonna be the same Francis, y'all. But I'm good. I'm okay. And I hope we all respect that I'm okay. Like I'm really okay, like for real. No cow. I'm really okay. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want me to post. Because I'm, I'm going to start posting, y'all. I promise. Y'all want a birthday vlog and then straight bangers after that. Because I do have also a support team. Like, I do have supporters that's like, actually want me to post and stuff like that. And I got to post for y'all. Just because my videos ain't hitting 10K to 100K. I can't give up then, like, I got to keep going, like, like, even though I'm not used to this, like, my video's not hitting numbers, like, I'm not used to that, but you can't give up, like, you can't give up, just keep going, so I'm going to keep going for y'all, and me, and myself too, and Kawhi and my grandma, it's always long live them, period, love y'all, bye. Pa 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 p